In this video, we're gonna look at getting your bike ready for an Alps riding trip or a shuttle trip where you're predominantly getting your bike set up for descending. These are the key things we would recommend you do to your bike. On a trip of this nature, you're gonna naturally be riding much longer descents. So a big thing to consider is your braking. Obviously make sure that you've got some fresh brake pads with plenty of meat left on them before you leave, but also take some spare brake pads. You will be able to buy them potentially in result, but if you take them with you, you know you've got them. A couple of things to consider. Sinter brake pads might be worth taking. They will last a lot longer, and they'll definitely last a lot longer if you have any wet days riding. Some long alpine descents can rip through a set of brake pads in one descent. Another thing to keep the brakes a lot cooler and also give you more power is upsizing your rotors. I usually run a 180 rotor, but for an Alps trip, I might consider a 200 mil rotor. You can see the size difference. Doesn't look massive, but it does make a big difference. Tire choice. When you're away and you're using chairlifts and shuttles, it's worth considering running stronger tires. At a bare minimum, running a stronger sidewall on the rear to help reduce your punctures. Here you can see we've got two identical tread tires and they have the same compound. One of them is a fast rolling light tire and the other one is a fast rolling tough tire. I'm sure a lot of you now are running one by setups uh, with some sort of retaining chainring. That is good and they work really well, but it is worth considering at least a top guide just to help keep your chain on. You don't want to be rattling down a descent and having to stop and put your chain back on regularly. So it's definitely worth putting a top guide on as a minimum. Um, some chain devices and chain sets will allow you to add a bash ring. This is a full bash ring. Um, it's worth considering. You're going to be riding in rockier terrain. Um, it is going to protect your chain ring a lot more. Some of them will be able to fit just a taco guard underneath just to help protect this chain ring. If you're a rider that clips in and you find it really helps out of your pedaling efficiency, but you're going on a trip where you're going to be using chairlifts and shuttles, you're not going to be quite so concerned about that. This could be a good time to try some flat pedals. Consider putting some flat pedals on, getting loose on the bike and maybe having a bit of fun. Make sure you've got some proper mountain biking flat pedal shoes, something with a good grippy, usually a soft rubber sole it'll make a world of difference, especially over bumpy terrain, keeping your feet where you want them. While you're away, you're likely to maybe get a couple of days bad weather. Whatever you do, make sure you pack a basic mud guard. It'll make a huge difference. On long descents, with all that water flicking in your face, you're gonna have to stop regularly to sort out your eyes, clear your goggles, or sort out your glasses. You can't beat a full-size mud guard. They stop a lot more water getting you in the face, and covering you. Your suspension on your bike is probably overdue a service. Now's a good time to get it done before you go away. At a bare minimum, get a lower leg service and an air can sleeve service on your rear shock. Make sure you've got fresh oils in there and the right amounts of oil. On long descents, you'll hear people talking about arm pump and sore hands. Your suspension is really gonna help eliminate that. Get it done before you go and it will also help maybe getting a big bill while you're out there, something going wrong that could have been done with a good service beforehand. Okay, so we've looked at getting the bike prepared for the trip, but what about us? We need to be prepared for the trip and we need to be wearing the right kit. If you crash and you break your bike, it can be fixed. If we crash and we break ourselves, it could put an end to your trip. So let's look at what protection we'd recommend you wearing. While we're away, I would consider knee pads as a minimum, but you can't go wrong with knee and shin. You get a lot of loose rocks. You don't want them flicking up and damaging your shins. But if we're predominantly descending, why not add some elbow pads to what you're wearing? You'll definitely be thankful if you do have a crash. As we're gonna be using chairlifts and shuttles for a lot of our climbing, wear a full face. So worth doing. Yes, they're not great for climbing in, but we're not gonna be doing a lot of climbing. We're gonna be focusing on descending. Get yourself a full face, you're gonna feel a lot safer, and if you do have a crash, it's gonna protect you a lot more. While looking at what you're gonna be wearing on your head, make sure you wear some sort of protection over your eyes. Glasses at a minimum, 
but you can't beat a pair of clear lens goggles. If you're going to be riding and it's sunny, it might be worth getting a pair where you've got a mirrored lens as well. It can stop you squinting and your eyes getting fatigued throughout the day. You can get a lot of riding bags now with sort of built-in back protection. Really worth considering. They're a little bit warmer on your back, but you know, if you do have a crash and you've got one on, it will make a big difference. And also stop any of your tools or any of your spares digging into your back. In your bag, you're gonna be carrying some water, a few bars, snacks, maybe your lunch, but also consider what tools and spares you're gonna be carrying. I always carry a pump, make sure you've got a tube and some patches. If you go through a tube, at least you can repair it if you've got some patches. Then I have a little toolkit in a little roll here. Big days out in the hills, you can be a fair way from a bike shop. So there's a few little things that are worth carrying just to get you out of trouble. I always carry spare gear cable. You don't want to be stuck in bottom gear for the rest of the day. Got my trail tool, all your major Allen keys, and a, uh, a chain tool. When you're abroad, a really crucial thing to carry is a mech hanger. They are specific to bikes, so make sure you've got at least one spare with you. Couple of tire levers, spare brand new quick link, handy for if you do snap a chain. Spare tubeless valve, well worth carrying. I always carry a handful of spare brake pads. Handy to carry some sort of, it's not really a trail tool, it's, it's more like a Leatherman, same with some pliers, a little knife, scissors, can get you out of a lot of problems. Last thing, I always carry a pressure gauge. When I find a pressure that I like on my tyres, I like to be able to put it back in if I puncture. And also from day to day, if you're riding at very different altitudes, it makes a huge difference. There we go. There's a little insight into what you should be considering to do to prepare your bike and yourself for a trip to the Alps or a shuttle trip. Hope it's helped. Have a good trip.